Hello, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is a travesty playing some Pillars of Eternity. Alright, we're here in Brackenberry District. And I think what we're going to do next, we're going to go in this place right here. This was the Raymont Manor. And I think we're going to deal with this two-story job quest next here. I think this is where we have to take this uh, note that we found on those thieves. Let's we'll see course. what happens from there. So, let's go in here. Alright, Raymond Manor. Let's see what we have in here. Servant and a guard. The master and his guards don't take kindly to uninvited guests. Keep okay. an eye out. Let's take a look around here. Some heistable stuff in here. There's another servant. Looks like they're all gonna see us here though. What's on here anyway? Some fruit. Who's this? Lynette Raymond. Father never reads to me. He's always busy with his own books. Hmm. And we got another guard back there. And another guard. Well, he's got plenty of guards. What do we have here? This is heistable. Ooh, pile of coins there. Hmm. Ready, Watcher. Can we get into Aye. a better spot where we can't mm. be seen here? Alright, let's go for the heist. We'll take the money. Take the money and run, baby. And what do we have over here? And a book. Light of Dawn. Oh, there's Lord Raymont. Let's go talk to him. Lord Raymont holds a shipping manifest in his well-manicured hands. Despite his extensive clothes, he has a sallow complexion and restless air of a man who devotes all of his days and most of his nights to work. If you have business to discuss, make an appointment with my attendant. I don't have time for unexpected visitors. Give him the letter. I uncovered a plot to rob you. He lowers his papers and looks at you for the first time. Is that so? Let me see that. He scans the parchment with the speed of an expert clerk. Hmm. It's got a moderate negative influence penalty for House Dominell. Hmm. When he returns his attention to you, his tone is brisk and businesslike. You've done this house and the city a great service. I'm certain you will consider this an adequate award for your labors. What will we do now? Eliminate the competition. The letter was signed A.D. Does that mean anything to you? I suspect it means Abercan Dominel, the scion of House Dominel. A look of disgust crosses his face. A pampered, pandered lad, if ever there was one. He's ruthless, I'll give him that much. Unfortunately, he doesn't have the wits to match his appetites. Tell me about House Dominel. They were once an eminent and admired house. Now they're just a den of thieves. Back in the Deerwood's colonial days, the Dominels were respected members of the Ducal Court, which is why it was so surprising that they remained loyal to a deer during Hadrit's rebellion. When Hadrit and the Deerwood won independence, the Dominels lost their favor, but not their wealth. Rather than return to a deer, like their loyalist houses, they dug their heels in here and turned from politics to commerce. In one way of looking at it, they simply partnered with the wrong side. Not that they haven't prospered since in their own way. Lately they've been seeking to carve out a new niche for themselves. One right between the Crucible Knights and the dozens, it seems. What's so important about this gem? The Heart of the White March is a nearly flawless diamond. It's also the patrimony of the dwarves of White March. It was seized by an Adiran lord in the early days of colonization, and the dwarves haven't forgotten it. Now the knights and the dozens are both bidding for it to make a peace offering to the dwarves. Whichever party buys it, the dwarves will make useful allies for Defiance Bay, especially these days. Farewell. All right, quest completed. Hmm. Alright, what do we have in here? Anything worth heisting? 
I'll see it done. Get a locked chest back here. Hmm, there's a potion in there. Hmm. Let's see what lies this way. Is there somewhere we can hide out somewhere, maybe? Maybe in the corner here. What? All right, what let's is see. it? I'll take maybe care of it. We can get Travis back here. Can we get to it before? Yeah, let's get it. Let's get the potion. All right, let's clear off the meter if we can. Looks like we have some stuff back here too. We need to check out. All right, let's see. Can we get this stuff too? Yeah, let's grab it. And can we get here before they see us? Let's grab it. Another book. And some more servants back here. Hmm. Let's clear off the meter and see what we got on the table over here. Let's see what we have. And some chicken. We'll grab some chicken. Okay, let's see. There was something over here, too, again. Let's see if we can get into that, maybe. There was just some fruit over there, but we'll try it. Yes? Hmm? See if we get into the shadows. Well, right, Travis. Oh, we got a bunch of level ups too. We need to deal with. As you wish. Let's see what we have over here on the table. Yep, some fruit. We'll grab it. Going for the heist. All right, I think we robbed the whole place. <laughs> okay, so we have an upstairs too. We might as well check it out. The old serving woman regards you with bleary eyes, begging your pardon. But I'm afraid I'll have to ask you to return downstairs. Visitors aren't permitted on the upper floor. <laughs> Backhander. <laughs> okay, I guess we can't get up in here. Let's go back downstairs. Okay, back outside. So, we got level ups for everybody. Let's go ahead and take care of this. Alright, we're definitely going up with mechanics. And two points left. I think I'm going to save the rest of them. Alright, we can't get any class talents, but... We can get offensive talents. I'm going to get two weapon style. Yep. Dual wield attack speed increased by 20%. We'll do that. And we're done. And next we have Aloth. Okay. Don't really need any of this other stuff. But let's keep going up with lore. We can now use level 4 scrolls. Three points left. Could maybe put some in stealth. Hmm. How many can we get out of that? Uh, I don't really need it though. I wouldn't mind putting some in survival, or even athletics too. I think we'll save the rest of these points. Okay, level 3 spells now. Arcane Dampener though, that sounds like a good one. 10 meter range, large area of effect, full area of effect, yeah. It's a debuffing spell. You know what, I think I'm going to get that one. Okay, and we have some talents we can get. We can get some bonus spells. Penetrating Blast, plus 5 damage resistance bypass. Arcane Bill, plus 50 deflection for 13 and a half seconds. 2 per rest. That's not a bad one either. Yeah, let's get this Penetrating Blast. Yeah. I use them quite often, so let's get that. And next we have a deer. And let's see what we can get for him. We have six points. Maybe we can put it all in athletics. Minus 80% max fatigue. Or plus 80% max fatigue, minus 90 combat fatigue gain. Yeah, that'll use up all his points. Let's do that. And wary defender, plus 10 deflection, plus 10 fortitude, plus 10 reflex, and plus 10 will when he's got defender mode active. Okay, let's get it.
Endurance. Endurance, we might as well put up some more lore. Two points left over. Anything we can put that in? Nah. We'll just save those. Alright, we can get some bonus spells. I like this one though. Plus five accuracy. Let's get that. And we have Kana. Eight points. Let's put let's put some in athletics. And I wonder if we shouldn't put some in stealth too, because he's more toward the front. You know what? Yeah, let's put a few in stealth. And I have one point left over. I think I'm gonna save that one. Okay, now we got another invocation. Paralysis though. 90 degree cone, that one would be actually pretty damn good. Let's get that one. Full area of effect causing paralysis. Yeah, 7.7 7 .7 meters and a 90 degree cone. Yep, let's do that. Okay, and we have some talents. I think I'm actually going to go with this here. Superior deflection. I was thinking about getting hold the line, which gives me a plus one enemy engagement. But superior deflection, plus five deflection, that's pretty damn good too. Let's go ahead and get that. And finally, Sagani. What can we get this time? Six points to blow. Let's put some in athletics. Yep. Okay, now, what can we get here? Vicious Companion. Companion does 15% more damage. Faithful Companion. Defenses against Charm, Confuse, and Domination. Merciless Damage, or uh, Merciless Companion. Plus 30% damage when the Companion does sneak attack damage. Hmm. Let's get Vicious Companion. That'll work. Okay. Now, let's take a look at a map. Yeah, I think we're going to go in this place and see what's all going on in here. Let's go check out this club. Alright, the charred barrel. Looks pretty small. Of course. Let's go take a look around here. Heartless bitch. <laughs> what's up with this guy? Did she send you to run me out of town? You can tell her I'm not going anywhere without that medallion. I told Cyril I wouldn't let her sell it. If that's what you're here about, then save yourself the trouble. <laughs> I'm not after you, but maybe I can help. That's a relief, but I don't see how. Cyril's a courtesan over at the Salty Mast in Andra's Gift. We've been working together for over a year now. I find a noble with more money than sense, fill him up with liquor, and send him her away. They have a good time, and Cyril takes her fee and a little extra. A hundred coppers here, a trinket there. It's a bounty for us. And these lords and ladies never notice anything missing. <laughs> That's dishonest. It's surviving. If those nobles have more wealth than they can hang on to, why should they keep it? Anyway, we always split the bounty until a week ago. She takes a necklace off some noble. It's an Ingwithin medallion, damn near priceless. That relic is sacred to my clan but she wouldn't part with it for any sum I could afford. And even if I wanted to, I can't go home without it. That's a hard thing. I'll see about getting this medallion from Sorrel. You'll find her at the Salty Mast. The only way anyone sees her these days is by paying, so you have to go through Maya. But whatever you do, please don't hurt her. Hm. Talk to Sorrel at the Salty Mast in Andra's Gift. Who's this guy? He looks a little drunk. The charred barrel is the finest inn in the city if you're looking for lodging. What do we have here? And some fruit. Let's grab it. Nobles. Alright, what's over here? Noble. 
Oh, we got some heist areas too here. Well, let's talk to Abel Hart Scarion. Welcome. Well met. What brings you to the charred barrel? Let me see your menu. Alright, so he's selling some food. A little bit of crafting material. What else is going on here? Oh, we can hire level 5 adventurers here too. And he's got some rooms. Plus 2 perception, plus 1 survival. And another one for plus 4 intellect. Hmm. Damn, that's pretty good. Plus 4 intellect for 170 coins. Alright. See what's back here. The cook. And some more heistable stuff. We got some fish there. Cook know anything? Please don't track dirt into my kitchen. Patrons here are particular. Alright, what's down here? Basement of a charred barrel. Oh, bandits. Bandit leader. Let me guess. We're going to fight in here. Hmm. A blade in the dark. Let's go check it out down here. Got some heist material there. What's in the barrel? And some chicken. Let's grab the chicken. Anything else hidden back here? Nope. Let's see if these guys know anything. Just having a little chat with my associates. <laughs> okay. It's usually pretty quiet down here. That's what the boss likes about it. Alright. Let's see if we can hide out over here. Hmm? Let's get out of sight. What is it? Let's see if we can go for the heist. What do we have in here? Some Blackson. We can probably sell that. Alright, nothing else down here. Hmm. Maybe we gotta come back here later for something. Well, let's get out of here. Okay. And there's a barrel back here and a stairway going up. Let's go upstairs real quick. Hmm. Got us a few rooms up here. Who's this? A couple nobles. And some more heistable stuff. Hmm. Wonder if we can get by these guys. Let's see who's over here. A pirate. Merwith. Let's talk to this guy. We don't know each other, stranger. Best we keep it that way. Hmm. What brings you to Charred Barrel? What's it look like? Good wine and a little peace and quiet. And Skirion doesn't ask too many questions. You don't seem like a Brackenberry local. And a uh, liberator of certain goods. And the nice thing about the snobs here is that they're usually too polite to ask more. Alright, I'll be going. Let's see what lies this way. What do we have in here? And we got a deer customs. And a little bit of lore. Let's grab all that stuff. Anything else hidden in here? Nope. Hmm, I wonder if we can uh, sneak into that yes. cabinet right there. Let's let the meter burn off a little bit here. See if we can sneak by these guys, maybe. Alright, let's go for the heist. Can we get by him fast enough? There's a pick, there's a way. And 13 coins, woohoo! Alright. Nothing else up here. I bet I bet this guy here, Merowith, has something to do with something later on. Hmm. Well, let's get out of here. Okay, so... So this is a heistable barrel right here, and this table was heistable. Hmm. Wonder if we can, let's find a place to hide out a little bit here. Well, let's burn off the meter a bit, and let's see if we can get over here without the meter going up too too quick. What's in here? And some beer. Let's get it, baby. Yeah. Support my booze habit. And let's see if we can get over here with, before we get saw. 
And some fish. Yeah, that'll wash down nicely with the beer. Alright, I think we're done looting this place. So let's get out of here. Okay. I guess we can continue on this way. Oh, what's this? Oh, I wonder if that's that, uh... That's the open window for them thieves, yeah. The mortared stone wall is sheltered by the eaves. A knotty green vine climbs all the way to an open window. Two ornate shutters seem to beckon you. Hmm. Well, we can use a grappling hook, but... Yeah. I, I bet that's where we could have went to steal that gem. Because that note for that quest that was dealing with this place said there was an open window they could climb through. Hmm. Maybe we'll investigate that later. In the meantime, let's continue on down here. Who are these people? Just some nobles. Who's this guy? Another noble. What's in here? Some cheese. We'll take it. Alright, let's take a look at a map. Okay, here's the House of Dominal. Hmm. You know what? Let's let's check this place out. Supposedly it's a bunch of thieves, probably some kind of thieves guild or something. Let's go check it out. Dominel Manor. Who's this guy? Dominel Doorman. All right. Greetings. I don't recognize you. What business do you have with House Dominel? Tell me about the House Dominel. It's an old and respected family. Much of Defined Space's prosperity is due to the Dominel business activities. Now, do you have any further business here? Okay. I guess not. I'll see you out. Okay. Maybe we can go in there later and fight him or something. I don't know. I suppose if we had that note, we would probably get a better conversation with him, but... We no longer have it. Alright, who's this? Some nobles. Brackenberry. The woman is absorbed in a book, muttering softly as she reads. Nadine. Let's talk to her. Welcome. Do you mind? I'm rather busy. What are you busy with? I'm studying soul attachment. We all know that souls move into people at birth and out of them at death. But we still have a lot of questions about what makes them stick, so to speak. What do you mean, making them stick? Souls power bodies and give their tissues life, but only when they're firmly attached. It's separation that leads to a whole spate of soul-related ailments, including the hollowborn. But if we understood how to reattach souls, we could end Widewind's legacy, maybe even conquer death. That's the story, anyway. Unfortunately, I don't have all the research I need to put it into practice. What exactly do you need? There's a manuscript called the Theorems of Pangram. It contains research from Pangram's experiments on detached souls. The Hall of Revealed Mysteries is rumored to have a copy in the Elder Archives. Pangram's work is considered to be one of the more, uh, daring animancy texts. Not something generally circulated among novices, nor easy to get a hold of. I wonder if we might have a peek at it. The theorems would advance my research by leaps and bounds, but Grimda, the High Archivist, worships Whale, which means she has some paradoxical views on sharing and restricting knowledge. And since she's not exactly a proponent of animancy, she tends to restrict the kinds of information that would be useful to me. I'm sorry to hear that. Look at me spilling my troubles. It's kind of you to listen, but I should really get back to my work. Anything else? I'll leave you alone. Farewell. Alright, go to the Hall of Revealed Mysteries in Copper Lane. And the quests keep piling up. Alright, Animancer. Anything else over here? 
Nope. Okay, so this is the sanitarium. Just hear me out. With this procedure, her soul... Her soul would be returned intact, more or less. More or less? Is that how you plan on presenting your idea to Ethelmir? Uh, why? Not good? Not good. Alright, more Animancers. Okay, let's take a quick look at this one. Uh, okay, that's Andra's gift. Let's take a quick look out here. Who's this? And what is this place? Hadrit House. Anything else down here? Nope. Well, we're running up on time, so we better do a quick save here.